my channel, Muhammad Zidim Wassani. Here with me today, we have a special guest to discuss about special issues, which is about Malaysia, uh, women in Malaysia, uh, and also probably we're going also to discuss about women in general. You know? And uh, I think before I introduce uh, my guest here, uh, here is uh, her book, which is recently published, which is about women in the house. Which I think capture uh, the the issues which related to uh, you know the representative of uh, women, particularly in parliament, and how the women roles in decision making process. So I think without further ado, I think I will need to introduce uh, our guest here, who was, which is the author of these books. Uh, her name is uh, Dr. Umu Atiyah Ahmad Zakwan. Uh, she's from uh, he's a senior lecturer from University of Utara, Malaysia. Uh, up and you know, coming very private, uh, you know, woman uh, activist as well, and also very active in uh, NGO. Uh, I think she also teach uh, subjects of human rights and also political science and, and uh, in Malaysia, and also probably you know, you can also if you want to add some more uh, to introduce yourself. Uh, yeah, I think the introduction is enough already. Okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, first of all, before we discuss uh, in details about these books, I want to ask you very general questions about uh, the woman uh, in Malaysia. Actually, uh, do you think that woman in Malaysia is equal enough to the men uh, when it comes to politics in Malaysia? What do you think? Uh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you for the invitation. Yeah. You know, I'm very happy to be here to share my views You know, in, in this setting. Yeah. Well, that, that is a good question, and yeah. I, I really um, uh, I really hope that people will now see how important mm. the women is in politics. We are not equal, of course. Okay. We are not equal. Yeah. Uh, full stop. <laughs> you know, since we have achieved independence, right, over 50 years, okay. uh, our numbers never exceed 15% even. You just okay. imagine. If, if we compare to our Southeast Asian yeah. neighbors, you know, we, we really perform very poorly. Yeah. This part of our economic growth, you know, yeah. uh, and people look at us as, you know, yeah. kind of developed uh, neighbors, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Our, we have a very good infrastructure, yeah. you know, but then when it comes to the numbers of women in politics, yeah. we perform really badly. Okay. Uh, at the moment, uh, in the Noah House, which yeah. is Dewan Raya, in Malaysia yeah. we call Dewan Raya, we only have 33 women okay. out of 220 seats, you know, okay. so there is a huge gap. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in terms of uh, Dewan Negara, the upper house, okay. uh, slightly better, yeah. so we are reaching 30%. Yeah. yeah. But that is because it is appointed. Okay. Yeah, so we need to work more on this. Yeah, I think we already started to discuss about this book, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, which is about representative of uh, women yeah. in, in the parliament. Yeah. but. I think still I want to come back to the issue of in general, you know, because uh, I think um, women in Malaysia is better off compared to uh, other women in other countries, for example, you know, because women can be able to vote yes. since uh, our independence in 1957, yes, yes. and also the opportunity for for women to in, work, uh, to work, and so education yes. is better compared yes. to other countries, you know, mm -hmm. even in terms of payment, pay salary equals between. Uh, between women and men. So, what's the big issue actually uh, when it comes to yeah. women? Why make noise? Uh, huh? <laughs> why make noise about uh, uh, issue of women yeah. and in Malaysia when it seems that it's everything okay? Yeah. What do you think? Yes. Hmm. I think what you are saying is not only you, you know, <laughs> even among women themselves, okay. you know, whenever I go to the mm. ground or we have dialogue mm. or discourse, hey, yeah. people are like, why are you making noise? Are, are we mm. good enough, you know? Yeah. Seriously, uh, if you look at the um, auto level, yeah. we are good, you know, okay. we are good. Uh, our rights are ensured by federal constitution. Yeah. We can vote, we can work, we have access to the, you know, to the health services. Yeah. In fact, uh, education also, we are now parity. Yeah. And then nowadays, if you look into the tertiary education, yeah. women are more than men. Okay. So over 70%, isn't yeah. it? But there are still, you know, hiccups. Okay. There are still hiccups, you know, um, because if you look into the statistic, mm. um, uh, still women experience uh, uh, abuse, violence. If mm. you look at the domestic violence uh, statistic, mm. it is increasing. You just mm. imagine. We, uh, and then the victim of rape also increasing, you know, mm. and then 
Uh, in contrast to what you said, mm. despite of what you said, uh, women and men earn mm. equal mm. pay. Mm. Do you know that we still have equal get, um, a gender gap in 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 pay? Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, of every one hundred ringgit, mm. the men get women mm. only got uh, ninety eight ringgit. 30 cent or 30 cent. I see. Yeah. Okay. And it may be far wider in certain sectors. Hmm. Yeah. And then um, uh, whenever we have job interview, for instance, you know, hmm. although you, you can say we have access to hmm. uh, employment, you know, hmm. but when we go for, if we go into a micro, hmm. a micro hmm. d detail, you will see there is a, a discrimination there. Like, hmm. They they don't say that they want mm. they do not want women, mm. but they prefer men because mm. you know often you know when you, you hear the interview will say later on, women when they work you know mm. later on they have maternity leave you know yeah. so it really burden the companies, mm. and then just to share with you, mm. I have uh, uh, met few amazing ladies recently, mm. uh, and they are all at the upper level of position. I was surprised you mm. know to learn that they experience this, you know, mm. in this part of their academic, uh, uh, you know, position, their mm. position uh, themselves at the organization. Mm. Um, for instance, in one case, mm. uh, a friend of mine, a very mm. close friend of mine, she had this, uh, you know, amazing uh, mm. job interview, which she really aimed for. Mm. And then you just imagine mm. the, the, the panelists mm. who happen to be all male, mm. uh, just, you know, ignore her, mm. like, Although she had a very good, um, mm. uh, you know, inputs and everything, she was trying herself mm. to make herself heard. Okay. But as compared to the uh, other interviewee, okay. who, who happened to be male, mm. they dis they received slightly more attention from mm. the panelists. Mm. So, you know, the, the way they regard her is like, you know, you're a lady, you're a woman. I do not know. Mm. Maybe but that is, you know, hidden or yeah. in uns un unspoken discrimination. Mm. The same thing that happened to another friend of mine who happened to head uh, a unit mm. in a university mm. and she said that she had a really hard time to really mm. prove you know uh, the, the, the 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 success of, mm. of a unit yeah. if, if if compare her you know her performance uh, the unit of her performance with the other unit I mean she uh, her, her unit performed much better but because yeah. of it was headed by a female, so th there was a, a bit of struggle, you know, mm. to really show that, hey, look, we also perform better, isn't okay. it? And in other women also, I, this is all real, real stories. It's not mm. a makeup story. Mm. Another, <clears throat> another case uh, where she work, she is a manager now. Mm. She work in a very uh, male dominated area. Mm. You know, she always encountered those abusive words. You know, mm. uh, like all those bad words, you know, mm. the F word, whatever it is, you know, but in the Malay version. Mm. You just imagine, you are professional, you are at a managerial level, mm. but yet you were being treated as uh, subordinates, mm. despite of we are of mm. equal term. Mm. So, uh, I'm saying now, it's actually, um, although you see on the legal framework, mm. we are all have equality, mm. but then in the operational side, mm. uh, Women are still being seen, uh, maybe not mainstream, but mm. in certain areas, women are still seen as secondary citizen mm. and being treated inferior by the by the other counterparts. You know. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it seems that <laughs> what you say just now is something in my micro level, meaning mm. that what's going on day to day yeah? yes, yes. in the industry, for example, yeah. in the in the in the public sector, for example. You know, but uh, you know. When it comes to current situation, when we see that uh, Pakatan government, you know, mm. uh, will be in power just about almost two years, you know, mm. one year and a half, mm. they uh, try to show that they really recognize the contribution of women, you know, meaning that uh, Deputy Prime Minister is a woman, yes. uh, Lord President, you know, uh, Governor mm. of uh, Bank Negara, you know, uh, a woman, you know? mm. so meaning that many women being recognized. Uh, and be promoted mm. into the higher level of uh, you know the governments and even even in, in the private sector as well. So what you say just now, it seems that uh, women you know uh, it's not been done enough. Meaning that government is not simply only just promote women to the higher position, 
but they have to also look in the context of day to day and uh, practice you know where women still being discriminated mm-hmm. uh, uh compared to men or whatever mm-hmm. you know so then i think how what's your recommendation the suggestion what best for the pakatan government um mm-hmm. to overcome the discrimination against women mm-hmm. that still is this yeah you know? yeah Uh, first of all, we are very happy yeah. that we have the first, you know, yeah. for the first time in our history, yeah. Yeah. we have uh, a female yeah. in the upper level of the government. We hope mm. she can remain yeah. for long, you yeah. know, because seriously, you know, when she was uh, appointed as the deputy prime minister, it gave us joy. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is this is why you know this is like a role model effect, you know, yeah. when she she now is a uh, deputy prime minister when. The young people see young women, young men even, they see, oh my God, you know, mm. women can be deputy prime minister in Malaysia, yeah. isn't it? Yes. And maybe prime minister, we yeah. don't know. Maybe one day. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we don't follow actually. More women are clever than men. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Obama said this, you know. Oh, okay. Obama said this before. Yeah. Recently when Michelle came to yeah. KL, isn't it? Yeah. Obama said, uh, actually women are more... You know, yeah. intelligent yeah. than men, isn't yeah. it? So put more women then. Why are you <laughs> hesitant? Yeah. Okay. Um. You know, I have seen. Um. Um. Let me let me just try to recap. Yeah. Actually, uh, the previous government, mm. the present national government, had done a lot. Actually, you know. Yeah. yeah they have yeah. done a lot. Uh, I remember. Uh, the last, the last uh, uh minister of women, community and family development. She introduced uh, naming and shaming, mm-hmm. naming and shaming. You know, uh, where uh, any organization uh, who which fail to 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 incorporate thirty percent of women as board of directors Was members. Was it uh, Rohani? Eh? Uh, no, no, Rohani. No. Rohani. 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 Yes, Rohani. Rohani, yeah. Rohani yes. Mm. Uh, you know, those companies, you know, mm. will be named and shamed. Okay. You know, this is if you if you remember in human rights. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. In human rights, this is a very powerful tool mm. where you name and shame those yeah. uh, human rights violators. Yeah. Unfortunately, I do not see that mainstream mm. when she introduced that. Yeah. Uh, in fact, when she said that, you know, during the budgetary uh, presentation, it was that. That's it. You yeah. know, yeah. Uh, and even I attempted actually to 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 write about that. Yeah. Uh, I I wrote and it was published in the newspaper. Yeah. But the naming and shaming part was removed. Yeah. Uh, I do not know maybe yeah. space uh, reason. Yeah. Okay, yeah. if you go a bit further behind, uh, yeah. Datin Paduka, uh, Zaleha, yeah. uh, Tan Dian Ho, last time yeah. they were trying very hard actually to introduce. Yeah. Like we have now Aisuri, isn't it? Yeah. Now Aisuri became materialized. Even yeah. that also received yeah. a huge resistance from yeah. many husbands. If okay. you look into the social media. Uh, you know how they reacted? Mm. Only do aku, do aku. Yeah. You know, tak boleh bini aku ambil. You know that sort of attitude, though. Mm. But anyway, uh, kudos to PH uh, government, the mm. lineups, the women. They are they they are, they are very strong in championing uh, mm. women issues, and uh, we can see now Aisuri was uh, is active now. Um, mm. But go back to the, the question that you asked me. You know how how can we do mm. more effectively? You know mm. to 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 achieve gender equality yeah. some people are very sensitive towards gender equality yeah. they say enough already you know gender yeah. equality so gender equality uh, gender inclusivity diversity yeah. whatever you want to say it yeah. it must start from the mindset okay. yeah it must start from the mindset nowadays you know this part of our higher economic level yeah. uh, the highest uh, higher literacy whatever it is yeah. people still think about uh, you know differently about women Okay, you know the construct of women mm. that mm. we had, that mm. we had mm. in the fifties, the sixties, mm. that women are caretakers, mm. women are wives, women are mothers. You must stay at home. Mm. This is this is your parameter, you know. Mm. So it was back then, yes. Mm. But the construct now changed, you know. Now we have women go. We have to work. Mm. We can't afford to have one single uh, mm. income. You have double single income, isn't it? Yeah. So the construct now has changed. The construct yeah. of a family now changed. Yeah. Now the husband and the wife have to work. Yeah. So you just imagine if both are working. Yeah. So the workload also being added to, isn't isn't yeah. it right? Yeah. And then when you expect the women also to to perform, yeah. to to work double yeah. triple shift yeah. at home, <coughs> so it really stress out the women, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So. 
uh, I think the 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 first thing that you have we have to do is uh, have the the correct idea of you know the the construct of family for instance this is uh, is being championed by uh, our ministry now ministry of women family and community development they are actually trying to explain w w the concept of gender equality gender awareness you know when you are aware of gender you know you have different needs as a man isn't it it could be. <laughs> <laughs> I have different needs, okay. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So we cannot blanket your needs and my needs into okay. one pot, yeah. right? So the ministry is saying, women, since women have different needs, women yeah. have different demands, yeah. hence yeah. women have different challenges. Okay. So as you, yeah. men, you know. Yeah. So while well, we have this this concept, then when we want to make policy, you yeah. must be gender sensitive. Yeah. So when we when we are sensitive about both needs of both genders, mm. so the output will be very good, you know. Mm. So like, have you seen the analogy when two or three people want to see in the football outside of the gate, isn't yeah. it? The one that you are very tall, <laughs> I'm shorter than you. Okay. So we need to be assisted, isn't it? Uh. Yeah. Have you come across that 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 picture? Maybe our audience have seen that. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah. Probably I'm, I'm not. <laughs> You, maybe yeah. uh, maybe you yeah. came across once upon yeah. a time. Yeah. Okay. So meaning to say that the assistance has to be different in order for to enable us all to see yeah. the football outside of the gate. Yeah. So this is we call gender 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 awareness, you know. Yeah. So um, I think apart from the ministry, uh, the, the the civil society, especially I have to quote here, mm. the NCWO, mm. the National Council of Women Organization. Mm which has now over, I think, 200 uh, women organizations affiliate to it. Mm. So they are the champion of the women's rights. Mm. Um, um, I think um, until, you know, everybody have this understanding, mm. uh, then people can celebrate. Nowadays, we can still see a lot of segment of people still like, whenever yeah. you talk about women, nobody's there in the room, except mm. women. Okay. Men will see like, mm, women issues again, <laughs> you know? So yeah. please, you know, to all men, to to, to all male <laughs> viewers, you know, uh, this is not invasive. This yeah. is, this will not discriminate you. Yeah. Uh, because I we have Mercury, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they say that. Come on, what what about men's men's right, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But trust me, when you talk about gender, yeah. gender equality, yeah. or uh, I would like to use gender inclusivity, mm. you'll be alert mm. of both male and female needs you know mm. and demands you know mm. you you'll be you'll be like sensitive mm. and you will understand uh, that you have different needs i have different needs mm. hence different mm. policy different approaches need to be there i think this is the most fundamental thing that we have to deal with mm. and we have not been able to you know to to reach to that point yet okay. maybe certain segment of people but mm. if you go to the a bit rural area yeah. or those people who are a bit like if I say this, people say me they deeper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you try to open up. You know, it's yeah. not. It's not. It's not really against your religion or something like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, I think uh, <laughs> she <coughs> elaborated a very lengthy, uh, and and we we can know that she very passionate on the issue <laughs> of gender equality and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. Uh, now I think I want to go back to the books, you know, uh, for those who are interested to buy this book, it's still available in the market. I think if you go to Kinokonia or any bookstore, you can find these books, uh, not, not so expensive, I think, but how much? Only 40 ringgit. Only 40 ringgit, you know. So one thing that uh, in these books, which I think being debated uh, many times, you know, when it comes to uh, not only Malaysia and also women represented in other countries as well, which is about quota. Many say that quota 30% is uh, doable and so it's practical but you know some say that why we need to have quota why not we have uh, meaning that you know uh, give uh, more opportunity for the woman if they have to earn to get that position uh, in the uh, as a representative uh, as an MP for example member of parliament uh, so meaning that that can be considered as equal and they put a quota on certain mm. uh, certain uh, position whether it's on gender or ethnic whatever mm. you know mm. because some country who practice for example like professional representation they, they have some input uh, same, same uh, you know demand on 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 a quota to be implemented you know so 
what do you think so about the quota issue whether women should be given a quota or women should earn if they earn the position they can get a more opportunity probably more than 30 percent of course the, the risk is probably low lower than 30 percent uh, as a, a, a member of parliament for example so what do you think about the issue of quota which i think very sensitive and yes. debatable uh, yes. nowadays what yeah. do you think don't go 30%, go 50%. <laughs> <laughs> because why? Because uh, you know, we are, we are more, you know, we are more. More than mm. half of us are mm. here. If you look into the mm. past GE 14, mm. you know, 50 per, 54% voters mm. are female. Yeah. Yeah, and you know, female, if you look into our history, mm. you know, women are the one who are really excited about, yeah. you know, go for independence. Mm. If you remember, how they, you know, they, they gave away their jewels, you know, yeah. to Tunku Abdul Rahman, you know. Yeah. Women actually, like Aristotle said, about human are political animals, isn't yeah. it? But women, seriously, we are, you know, if you, even you look at her, yeah. you say, oh, she's a housewife, or she's a mother, she's a... But true enough, you know, women are really, they, 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 they really alert with their surroundings. Yeah. Okay, go to this, this book. Okay. This is this is the book that um, I am very sentimental uh, mm. about. Why? Yeah. Uh, first of all, because there are a lot of no, a lot, there are three female MPs who already passed away. Mm. Uh, Tan Sri Nafsa Omar mm. uh, and then Tan Ah Eng mm. uh, and Dr Lolo. Mm. So if you see the way they debated in the Dewan Rakyat, you know they are they were really amazing. Uh, I had the chance to speak to Arwah the date Tan Sri Nasir Omar and I was blown away seriously. Mm. I see that, you know, women representation in the parliament not just as important, it's mandatory, you know? Yeah. It's mandatory. Mm. Why? Because the way they see the issues is very different. Mm. Um, you know, um, be before, uh, we'll go to the quota afterwards, yeah. but let me yeah. narrate on this first. You know, people always I always encounter, you know, friends or, or colleague or a new network network. They all say like, why why we need women in in parliament, isn't yeah. it? Because you know, if you look into the idea of having a parliament, mm. can uh, parliament, um, if I remember correctly, parliament was derived from a word parler, parler, right? It's a French word, okay. meaning to speak, yeah. to speak. So we need somebody to speak for us, you know. We are not in a great period where everybody mm. can go and speak for themselves, isn't mm. it? Now, our setting is more on representative democracy. Mm. Yeah. So we need people to go and speak for us, mm. right? I can't, I, I trust yeah. you, you can speak for me, yeah. but there are certain issues you might not be yeah. able to digest well, yeah. you know, issues about women, yeah. isn't it? You know, I experience this uh, daily in my life, for instance, whenever I travel sometimes yeah. i see women with small kids yeah. or women you know who's uh, conceiving you know yeah. seeing them already make me understand because yeah. we experience that isn't yeah. it yeah. so that's why uh for instance i've seen you know the way they debated uh i think they were debating about rape uh sexual abuse sexual violence you can see you know if you if you were there you can see that they were really like you know raising hand they're not raising hand, of course, yeah. but they were asking questions. They were asking for more penalty. Yeah. They were they understand, you know, the the, the injury, the trauma yeah. face uh, encountered by the victims, yeah. and then you know, for all women in Malaysia, yeah. uh, in Malaysia, I want to to, to to bring you to the attention. The, you now you can experience the uh, assessment of tax, yeah. kind of by yourself if you work. Yeah. Now, if you are being abused by your husband, your partner, you mm. can have the procedure, yeah. isn't it? So you have equal pay, mm. maternity leave. All this come from women, you know. Mm. All this come from women NGOs who really, you know, work well with the mm. women politicians. These are the women who goes to the chamber and speak for us, you know. Mm. And then we see also how they were being uh, drawn. Mm. By by the male MPs, you know they ridicule about women issues. Mm. Women issues mm. is one of the issue where the opposition use as a tool to draw. Mm. You know, mm. so this is bad. Mm. So who who is the one who have more resilient to speak about women issues? Mm. Is the women themselves. Yeah. And 
And in this book, you can see uh, I have investigated over 10 years of debates. Uh, you can see, and even outside, uh, if not my book, you can see others' book like Sarah Child, yeah. uh, you know, like, um, I cannot remember. But many, many writers, and even in Interparliamentary Union uh, okay. pub Publishing, mm. you can see that the that's what make men and women mm. complementary. That's yeah. why we need both in the parliament because mm. the, the the preference mm. is different mm. because your socialization, mm. your experience define you know your policy preferences, okay. and you just imagine the constituents, mm. the female constituents, the female voters. <coughs> Where, where, where was I? Um, yeah. Oh, the, the, the need. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, um, that's why, you know, when, when, when people like questioning, mm. we don't need women, we just need men to represent us. Mm. I, I really disagree. Mm. You know? If we go to the theory, mm. uh, the substantive theory, the substantive mm. representation by Pitkin, you know, there must be a connection, there must mm. be a communication between mm. the voters mm. and the represent the those who represented uh, yeah. the representative sorry mm, yeah. so uh, the late Tan Sri Ramsay almost uh, herself you know she shared with me uh, when Felda settlement was you know was, was created mm. um, when when the when the land was open mm. the land title was given to the husband mm. so when they entered to the to the land mm. the thing is that uh, eventually the, the 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 husband left you know mm. left. And only the wife and the mm. children work mm. the land. Mm. For a few years after that, mm. the husband came back with the new wives. Okay. Yes. Mm. So you just imagine, and it is quite serious, you know, at that particular time. Mm. And the voters, the female, uh, the women mm. came to her, and then mm. because of that, she brought the issues to mm. the Dewan Rakyat. She mm. said that, look, the land title should be given both to the husband and to the to the wives. So you see, you know, uh, that's why we. I don't think that the, the female voter or the, that woman will go to the male MPs. You yeah. know, uh, God knows, you know, what yeah. she will receive. And then go back to your yeah. question to me. Yeah. I understand when we talk about quota, people always always about quota, the thirty percent quota. People always see that, or oh, this is like an insult to women. Yeah. Those strong women, uh, I don't blame them. You know, I don't yeah. blame them because they they they, they are there for yeah. merit. But I do not want people to misunderstood as well. Yeah. Quota is not a discount, you know. Yeah. Quota is not for for yeah. charity. Yeah. Quota, from my understanding, we need as a kickstart. Yeah. yeah, because you know, in a in an ecosystem where there are a lot of barriers yeah. uh, that uh, women uh, encounters, yeah. you need a push. Yeah. So thirty percent is actually just a start for, for, for women to be able to be there in the decision making. Mm. So when the playing uh, playing field is level enough okay. then you know no need yeah. for quota. Yeah. And we actually can go more and please bear in mind mm. and I'm, I'm telling myself, I'm telling you, I'm telling yeah. all the audience yeah. do not see quota very negatively. Mm. We don't simply take any women. Mm. Of course we take by marriage. Mm. Mary is there as a yeah. cornerstone, you know, yeah. uh, in, in Kota. Yeah. Kota is needed in, an, in a very hostile ecosystem yeah. style, yeah. patriarchal ecosystem yeah. where yeah. men does not men disregard you, yeah. men really put you, you know. So I think um, to me, I go for Kota okay. as, as, as a start, as a kick start. Okay. So when you see that the ecosystem is stable, you know, so then we can remove it. Remove Kota. Yeah, we can remove Kota. Okay, um, yeah, I, I, you, you just uh, inform us, yeah, uh, me as well about uh, the word parlement, you know, parle, you know, from parle, the, parle. From the French word, you know. Yeah. I think, I don't know, uh, probably one day you want to change the word parlement, you know, because parle, men, men, uh, men, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not possible like history or her story, you know, yeah. so whether this word needs to be changed. Yeah. Uh, that's subject for some feminist movement to verify against yeah. this to change the word. But I don't know whether it uh, can be <laughs> can be changed or not. Uh, but uh, now we go to the last questions um, that we want to ask you. What you can see the future, you know, in year twenty twenty. Mm -hmm. You know, what you want to see happen to women uh, in the world today or in Malaysia? What's best for women? In the future, we want to think. Okay. Well, um, 
I think now if we go to the international stage, right? Mm -hmm. We have seen a uh, very exciting development. Mm -hmm. Recently, we see the new, the newest, the 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 newest, the youngest mm -hmm. prime minister, isn't it? Mm -hmm. uh, Finland, right? yeah, Finland. Yeah, Finland. I forgot her name. Sar Sarah, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's yeah. okay. So you know. This 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 pro this development is very important, you know, to really show to the people mm. that women can do, you know, mm. like Jacinda Ardern. Or I really love her. You know, mm. seriously, she really perform well. Mm. She's just like thirty seven something, thirty seven, yeah. below yeah. forty, isn't it? Mm. So, um, and you see strong lady like Michelle Obama. You mm. see Hillary Clinton. Mm. I like Oprah as well, mm. isn't it? Uh, the, the, the German uh, Chancellor mm, Angela Merkel, right? Mm. And also in Malaysia, back home, we have a lot of uh, strong women. You, I can name like Tan Sri Rafida Aziz. Tun M always praise her. Mm. When, uh, I, mm. we we had a chance mm. to meet Tun M this year, and mm. I had this opportunity to ask him, Tun, uh, please uh, tell me who, who do you think you know as a role model of women mm. politician Malaysia. He just, without hesitation, told us it is Tantri Rafida Aziz. And mm. Karina, you know, she's a lady of, you know, of a mm. self resilient mm. very uh, strong of her opinion. What I wanted to see in 2020, which is like only 12 days, 10 yeah. days, you know, um, I want to see uh, women who are confident. You know, you don't... Don't when we talk about women in politics, people often see you have to be in the political party. You know, you have to be running as a candidate, right? Yeah. But try to expand the scope of politics. Mm. Politics is about what? Politics is about making decision in your life, mm. daily daily decision in, yeah. at your home, yeah. in your you know in your office. You yeah. know, so try to try to try to uh, be brave about your yourself. I mean, your 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 what what you think, what you feel. Just let it out, you know. Yeah. Make people know of your needs, your concern, uh, your whatever. You know, don't don't just keep to yourself, yeah. because actually, you know, uh, I have this issue as well previously. You know, because this is the way we've been brought up, yeah. isn't it? Like just just listen, just follow. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So if you are being uh, brought up in this environment, then you will have uh, a bit of huge obstacle to yeah. to to develop yourself, but. Yeah. Trust me, you can do this. I want to see young women, you you brave with your opinion, speak mm. more, you know, yeah. connect with uh, the right people. Yeah. Uh, if you want to make change, I want them to be part of the process. Yeah. Because uh, in the next election, mm. uh, we can we will have eighteen years old yeah. voters, you know. Yeah. So yeah. you have to empower yourself with uh, all uh, you know knowledge like political knowledge, gov governance. Mm. And you have to have your skill. Mm. Try to empower yourself. Mm. I want to see in twenty twenty not only women, mm. but also men. Not only girls, but boys. Yeah. You know, you'll be a very enlightened uh, yes. citizen. Okay. Yeah, enlightened citizen. Good quality for Malaysia to bring back the the glory of Malaysia. Okay. <laughs> More. Yeah. 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 So, thank you very much. Do you inspire? I feel inspired already, <laughs> you, you know. So, uh, thank you very much, uh, you know, Dr. Umu, for you know, uh, spend time uh, with me also to discuss about women's issues. And uh, I wish we can, uh, you know, interview you again. You know, I can interview you again one day. You know, with more topic of women or other issues as well. So before we leave, it, you know, uh, for all viewers of these uh, channels, don't forget uh, to subscribe. To my channel. Can I show the book, please? Yeah, this is the books. Uh, subscribe to my channels and also buy the books. Uh, you know, still available in the market. Uh, don't worry. Uh, don't worry. I think uh, you know uh, it become hot hot cakes. You know these books. You know <laughs> uh, you can still find easily in the market. And uh, also don't forget to to, you know, to like the the channels and. Uh, hopefully to see you again in the next uh, coming uh, interview. Uh, which is uh, we will bring more uh, interesting uh, uh, speakers and also you know uh, uh, somebody's public figure which I think uh, we can uh, they can enlighten you uh, with the current issue that we present to you. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Thomas.
See you again soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Stop recording. <laughs>